Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back to my car. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh, the food delivery service that brings fresh pre-portioned ingredients right to your doorstep so you can prepare a meal super quick and easy and save yourself a ton of time. HelloFresh has 40 weekly recipes to choose from that are chef curated and will fit any meal occasion, lifestyle or preference, including soy glazed salmon with rice and mushroom chive risotto. Many of us live very busy lives and HelloFresh is really great at providing assists, taking care of the meal planning and the prep work so you can get a good wholesome meal on the table for yourself, your family or whomever you love. You can also customize your meals by swapping out sides or proteins or even adding proteins to your veggie meal. And this month, my family's favorite meal was the one pot black bean and poblano soup with blue tortilla chips. So if you'd like to try HelloFresh for yourself, click the link down below or head over to HelloFresh.com and use my code EMMYMADE60 to receive 60% off and free shipping. Big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and for allowing me to make better videos for all of you. Now today we're going to be tasting Kentucky Fried Chicken's Double Down Sandwich. If you've never heard of the Double Down Sandwich, it was introduced way back on April 1st, 2010 in the United States as an April Fool's prank, but it was actually a real sandwich item. Essentially, it's a fried chicken sandwich with no bun. Instead of buns, there are two fried chicken cutlets on top and bottom. In between, there's bacon, cheese, and some sauce. And it's called the Double Down. Excessive, yes. Intriguing, yes. <laughs> So apparently it was supposed to only run for a short time, about one month, but because people loved it so much, it continued until 2014 and then it was discontinued. So we have not been able to get a double down for about 10 years now. And just today, today is March 6th, 2023, they've reintroduced the double down. And according to the KFC website, they're only going to have it for a month's time. So it is a limited time only menu item. I've never had a double down before, although I do remember hearing quite a buzz about it. I went through the drive through and I got this giant bag. I got my double down meal along with a two piece extra crispy chicken meal. And that, of course, are for my children to share <laughs> as an after school snack. But also, it's just sort of nostalgic for me. I remember going to KFC on um, once a week with my. Stop! My steering wheel is. I did not ask you to do that. Thank you. All right, take it easy. It's just a car. At any rate, I was having story time before I was rudely interrupted by my steering wheel and my car winging out. Okay, this was back before my brother was born and on occasion my dad would have to work late and my mom would take me to KFC. We'd get a two-piece meal. I would always eat the drumstick. She would eat the biscuit because I didn't like the biscuit. I love the mashed potatoes, so I made sure to get that. And sometimes we would get corn too. I remember the wet naps. Those were my favorite, the lemon-scented wet naps and being really puzzled by the four monks malt vinegar that was offered on the tables there as well. I'm like, what is this for? Back to the double down meal. I got the meal because that was advertised. They also had a Mountain Dew called Sweet Lightning. Oh, paper straw, appreciate that KFC. I know there are a lot of Mountain Dew flavors. I have not tried any of them. So Sweet Lightning is completely new to me. Ambiguous name, could be any flavor. The color looks a bit like Pineapple Crush. So here we go. Whoa. It is very sweet. Does it taste like lightning? I don't know what lightning tastes like, but it doesn't taste like lightning. To me, it tastes kind of peachy. It tastes like peachy, a little bit like guava. Not my favorite, but there you go. Does it taste like Mountain Dew at all? No, if I was blindfolded, I would never guess that this is Mountain Dew. I know it's Mountain Dew sweet lightning, so it's not really Mountain Dew. I also got a water, which I'm gonna drink as well. Mm -hmm. So here's the double down. It comes in a bag, a foiled lined paper bag, and inside is, oh my gosh, look at the size of this. It's got some paper here, and here is the sandwich. I appreciate the paper. It's a way to keep your hands, I think, a little clean. Wow. Look at that. Two pieces of bacon, two pieces of white cheese, not sure what kind of cheese. Oh, I think there are pickles in there too. And some kind of a mayonnaise like sauce. Wow, it smells good. Itadaki moss. Mm. 
Wow. That's a big bite. The first thing I notice is that it is very salty, Whoa. super salty. On my first bite, it doesn't elicit those KFC memories of those 11 herbs and spices. And I think it's because of the bacon. The bacon's in there, it's very smoky and strong, so it, it kind of overpowers some of that. Mm-hmm. On that bite, I got bacon for sure. And I got some of that crisp edge of the bacon, which I really appreciate, some of that kind of textural contrast because this is all chicken. It's all chimkin. And so the textures going on are very much like you're biting into a big <laughs> hunk of meat, which you are. So I appreciate the little bit of crunch from the bacon. I still didn't get a pickle though. I think that's pretty essential. So let me try to get a piece of pickle in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really like the bite of pickle. It brings a little bit of acidity, a little bit of crunch, but most importantly for me, it's just a huge splash of a contrasting flavor. That little bit of dill goes really nicely with the smokiness of the bacon and of course the chicken. This is a lot of chicken for me, a lot, and it is very salty. I think if there was a bun here, it would help calm down the saltiness. This is a really oozy bite. Let's try that bite. Mmm tangy vinegary mayonnaise sauce and the cheese is a bit like an American cheese mm -hmm. pretty light flavor and that classic plastic melty texture although I feel like the cheese is a little bit much because it is such a rich sandwich but this is all about excess it's there's it's called the double down <laughs> after all they actually go pretty well together because I think this is so salty and this is so sweet, we have just, you're living in between two big extremes. It kind of works. Wow, this reminds me a little bit of Tampico. Have you ever had that? Except it's not that orange tangerine flavor. I think it's because it has that artificial over the top candy flavor. This sandwich is not bad, too massive for me. And my biggest critique is just that it's super salty. It's tasty though. The chicken is tender. It's well cooked. I think it could be a little bit crisper. I'm a huge fan of the extra crispy. I would love a little bit more crunch. Again, seeking more textural complexity in this because it's just all chicken bite, you know? This is a very heavy sandwich, literally heavy, but it's all about being excessive, isn't it? It's the whole gimmick of this sandwich. Would I get the sandwich again? Probably not. It's just too much for me. Like the size of it, everything is just too much. Yo, I forgot the fries. Secret recipe fries. I don't think I've ever had fries from KFC before. Let's give these a taste. Kind of fatty, nice and golden in color. Hey, these two are very salty. But do you hear that? They're crisp. Oh my goodness, are they salty. Really like the texture. They've got that crispness down. And these are very, very, very heavily seasoned. I imagine that these are frozen. And so they've been coated with some kind of cornstarch or potato starch powder on the outside. So there's a light kind of crust on them. And then there's seasoning and salt. And the seasoning tastes like a general all-purpose seasoning, something that has celery salt in it for sure. The insides are fluffy, well-cooked, and the outsides have a really great crispness to them. I like them. A little bit fatter, about the diameter of, you know, my pinky, and I like the substantialness of that. Mm-hmm. Good fries, I like them. Remind me a little bit of potato wedges or steak fries because of the substantial kind of bite to them and a little bit of coating on the outside. I like them, I just need them to have less salt, as I've mentioned numerous times. <laughs> Alrighty, my lovelies, there you have it. My first taste of a Kentucky Fried Chicken Double Down Sandwich. And, excuse me, 
Thanks for watching and big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to try HelloFresh for yourself, please click the link down below or head over to HelloFresh.com and use my code EMMYMADE60 to receive 60% off and free shipping. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Do you think this includes a wet nap? inside the box. I really want a wet nap. No. No. Do they even do wet naps? KFC employees, let me know. I love those lemon scented wet naps. You know what I'm talking about? It made your hands feel somewhat clean. Alrighty.